Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus which are contained in the Gospels, and this week, a very short parable, the Parable of the Leaven. This parable is found in the Gospels of both Matthew and Luke. Another parable he spoke to them. The kingdom of heaven is like to leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal until the whole was leavened. Matthew 13.33 And again he said, Whereunto shall I esteem the kingdom of God to be like? It is like to leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened. Luke 13.20-21 As I said, very short, and pretty sparse on details, which is unfortunate, since the process of ordinary people putting leaven in meal is unusual. As a result, today most people would have no real idea why this woman would be doing this. Without that information, we're left with a sort of general message about being sure to finish what you start, which is a good message as far as it goes. However, let's dig a little deeper into this. What exactly is leaven? Leaven is something like yeast, which causes dough or batter to rise, often through a fermentation process producing air bubbles which become trapped in the substance, causing it to expand outward. This is the normal part of bread making that most people who've made bread should be familiar with. That, however, is what it does to dough. Meal is not dough. It's a granular, coarse substance made by grinding down grains. Put leaven in a meal and you probably won't even notice any difference unless someone tries to make the meal into dough and discovers that the dough they made is rising without them needing to add yeast to it. Combine this with the parable's use of the word hid, the woman took and hid the leaven, we have a message about something being stealthily added to something else, producing an effect which isn't expected by others. Because of this, there are a couple of different ways that this parable can be taken. It could be that Jesus is talking about God's grace being stealthily added to we human beings and producing effects that only become apparent in heaven, a growing effect like the seed from the last episode. The same could be true of knowledge of God or of his word, which can be obtained without others finding out and produces its effect in silent meditation. I think this interpretation is pretty likely because of the fact that Jesus is trying to illustrate how the kingdom of God works with this parable. However, there's also the fact that the Jewish custom of the meal offering was never offered with leaven in it, and that Jesus himself uses leaven as a symbol of hypocrisy and bad examples in the Gospels, while warning his disciples to beware the leaven of the Pharisees. This seems to imply that the leaven might be meant in a negative sense, turning the message from one about heaven into a message of how hidden sin in the soul can destroy the whole person. While both of these are important messages, and I can't prove for certain which one was intended, I'm more inclined to say the first, since it's closer to making the parable about the kingdom of God, as Jesus says it is. It is confusing that he uses the same item as a metaphor for two almost opposite things, hypocrisy and the grace of God. It's not the only time in the Gospels where Jesus uses symbolism in a less than uniform way, though. Next, sheep and coins. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.